Hi, this is Linda Green, principal of Bristol Elementary School. As you can see, we're standing out in the parking lot looking at our building. It is comprised of three separate buildings joined by a hallway and a ramp. This is Jason Torsi, facilities director for the Newfound School District, taking a tour of the facility. Here's the Braley building, which was built in the 40s. And you can see by the cupola that we have some, some rot damage, potential lead paint hazards, and just rot all over the building. Trim. Here we are on the school street entrance of the Braley building. Water damage and rot. Here we are on the back of the building at the playground. You can see a number of the bricks have been painted. We believe it was done to cover graffiti a number of years ago. Get to the windows, you can see the exposed insulation above the drop ceilings. Now our playground has reached its end of life expectancy and is, is due for replacement. Here we are on the North Main Street entrance of Bristol Elementary. Here we are at the main part of the building, Bristol Elementary. Notice the ceiling tiles are all sagging. That's due to moisture issues, high humidity levels, and this is throughout the entire building. Here we enter the nurse's office. This office straight ahead is, is guidance. So to get to the guidance office, you must walk directly through the nurse's office, leaving children with no privacy. These are the staff bathrooms and nurse's bathroom. Here we are back at the school street entrance. See the seals in the windows have failed. Here we are in the kitchen at Bristol Elementary School. For our largest population of students, this school has the smallest kitchen in the district. We lack storage space for proper storage of food, so it must be brought over daily from other locations. Here we are in a typical classroom in the newest edition of the building, which is from the 80s. Relatively good condition. Do have moisture issues with the ceiling, tiles sagging. The casework appears to be in good condition, but when you dive deeper into it, you can see that we're suffering from rot. Here's a typical heating unit in the classrooms. Most every classroom has one of these unit ventilators. It's the only source of fresh air that the kids get during the day. Most of these units are original to this edition and are failing and you can no longer purchase replacement parts for. They're also extremely inefficient. Now we enter the original structure of the building from 1923. As you can tell, the flooring is in rough shape. We've had a lot of patches done. The wooden subfloor is uneven. 
in the bathrooms, we have two layers of subfloor with asbestos linoleum in between, which is starting to fail and will need to be abated soon. You may not be able to tell in the video, but the floor here is extremely uneven and is slanted towards the stairwell. This stairwell does not meet any life safety code at all. The railings are too short. They are too steep. Here we are in a student-specific learning area. Due to certain needs, we are required to run this air conditioner year-round to maintain a 60 degree temperature in the room. Many classrooms in the building still have cast iron radiators, which we have had a few almost fall off the wall onto students. Here we are in the basement of the original structure. This is the storage area. As you can tell by everything stored down here, that we are in need of more storage room.